hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly guidance. This is for the week of the 7th of February going through to the 13th. Welcome, thank you for being here. Alright my darlings, I'm going to be using the Gilded Tarot Royale, the Legacy of the Divine Tarot, Angels of Atlantis, Magic of the Unicorns and the Oracle of the Angels. All the cards I use are linked below in the description box along with the, the links to work with me if you would like to. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on for you this week. Alright, we have the Queen of Cups, the Magician, the Nine of Coins, the World, Central Energy, Knight of Wands, Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, Seven of Coins, and the Eight of Cups. Oh, how interesting. Okay, let's see what's coming in from the Unicorns. Uh, you tend to use always a couple of decks of Oracle cards as well as Tarot. It gives us a fuller picture, guys. Okay. Uncord relationships. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. We've got two major cards of letting go. And now we have a third. All right. We've got shifts going on for you, my lovelies. Let's see what's going on. Okay. And from the angels, we have forgiveness. We have got forgiveness twice. We have got leaving something behind three times. All right. When they repeat a message, they are really pushing it for you to twig this. Okay. That we need to let go. We need to let go. All right. So let's have a look at this. Let's start with these oracle cards. Uncord relationships. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. Right now, the unicorn's heart center is open. Heart chakra is open, pouring love into this lady's heart. Coming in from the, the horn as well, the crystal coming in towards the throat and the heart. We are in an energy of forgiving and letting go. Now, forgiving, forget is not the same thing as forgiving. You can choose to forgive in order to free yourself. That as you hold on to anger, hurt, resentments, pain, you are tying yourself to the pain of that situation. Whether it was a relationship or a work situation or a friendship, whatever it was, that, mm, that which is not forgiven binds you holds you in its grip and we don't want that we want to be able to move on and let go so uncord relationships is to understand that any strong feelings that we have for the situation holds us bound to the pain that created the strong feelings so we're going to do our absolute best to let go and forgive the situation and say I'm letting I am letting go now I am freeing myself I am moving on okay that forgiveness we've got Ma mother Mary here this beautiful energy of compassion gentleness forgiveness coming in from Archangel Jophiel that forgiveness frees you it isn't about them or the situation, it's about you, so that you are free to move on. So your central energy, the Knight of Wands, is an action card. Very fiery, very Sagittarian energy. Dragons here, and the dragons can use their fire to burn away cords, burn away restrictions, taking action on your passion, your energy, your enthusiasm, your fire you have the power to do this so this is an action card we are taking action so that we can free ourselves and move on okay queen of cups let's start here compassionate loving caring kind 
nurturing, self-love, self-worth, beautiful, beautiful things here. This is the energy we want to step into so that we can create that forgiveness. We can create our freedom from a place of loving myself, loving me, loving my happiness, because that which is not forgiven is spoiling my happiness, taking it away. We want to be able to come from a place of forgiveness to allow the closure of that stress, that strain, that pain. Sleepless nights, anxiety, worries and woes. We want it to complete now. We want it to stop. The world is turning now. You've completed this cycle. It's finished. It's done. It's the last card in the Major Arcana. You've come through a situation to its closure, to its completion, and it's now ready to finish this off so that we can step into the full energy of a brand new beginning. So this is a week of closures and endings for you, but action is needed. And you have the power to be able to take that action. The magician I love as a number one, that's leadership. You're the director of your own destiny. You are in charge, nobody else, you. This is the I am presence. This is the ability to create and manifest that which you want. So we're taking action on manifesting the happiness and freedom that I want. And that is then sowing the seeds for my future. The Seven of Coins is a card of sow the seeds now to be able to collect further down the line. You are sowing the seeds with your forgiveness to your own harvest, your own abundance, your own joy. It may take some time to come in, but you are building towards it and that's okay. So you're in this energy of independence and looking after you. By cutting the cords, you're standing on your own two feet. You are providing for yourself, not just materially, financially, but in terms of feeling safe and secure. I am whole and complete in who I am. I don't need to be tied to anything or anyone. And I love this Five of Swords underneath. This is the battle card. This is the, I've had to battle really hard for this. I've had conflict, I've had discourse, I've had hassle. It's been hard, but I have these swords that I can use to cut that cord, to walk away from it. And that Five of Swords moves into the Six of Swords where we leave that trouble behind. So I've got my sword ready to cut those cords from a place of compassion and forgiveness. And that enables me to come away, leave it behind me, move into easier times. This is the Pisces symbol here. And we're coming into Pisces season next week. So in this last week, you are spending this last week of Aquarius season moving towards Pisces season to free yourself, to move on, to into this new, fresh beginning. Look at this bottom row. I can let go of the anxiety, building for the future, moving on from all of the hassle, forgiving and creating this new beginning ready to step into the Fool. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Fool card come up for you in the next couple of weeks, but for some of you it may take all of Pisces season, which takes you up to the 20th of March, to free yourself from these cords to forgive and move on. It doesn't have to take weeks, but sometimes you're not aligned with that forgiveness and we need to really get into taking the action to say, I am just, it's time, let it go, let it go, let's move on let's put it behind us let's let go all right let's find out some more for you Sagittarius whatever this is for you if it resonates for you if it doesn't check out your moon and rising if you're watching this for sun of course so this could be moving on from a job a way of thinking whatever a battle has been for you it could be health it could be well-being it could be mental or emotional health it could be a person a job a home whatever it is we need to cut the cords and let go, okay? All right, so we have the Four of Pentacles, the Empress, love in seeing the Empress here, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, look, this is what happens, this is the outcome. We've got the Nine of Pentacles on the Nine of Pentacles, so we've got a double message here, Four of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles, great. 
So the clarification coming in. The Four of Pentacles on top of the Queen of Cups and the Magician. Mm, this is a card of I've been holding on too tight, scared to let go. What happens if nothing else comes forward? If I let go of that job, will I get another one? If I let go of that person, can I cope with being on my own? Can I cope with being independent, single? Yes, I absolutely can. Let's acknowledge those fears because they're there. Let's not brush them under the carpet. This is a hanging on too tightly energy. But as I recognise it and alchemise that, neutralise that, make it just dissolve because I can, I have the power, then I step fully into my power of my own independence, my own abundance. And I'm able to go from the nine of pentacles, look to the ten, because I'm moving through the empress energy. I am creating my reality. This is the card of creating, growing, nurturing, nourishing, sowing the seeds of that which I want. I want a new beginning and I am working to close off that old and bring me towards a greater abundance, a greater treasure, a greater joy. I absolutely can have that new beginning. I acknowledge this battle has been hard. Four of Cups, disillusion, disappointed. If this was a relationship that has constantly been arguments, battle, discourse, drama, it's been hard, Sagittarius. It's been hard. And you thought, oh, what is the point? I put so much work in, you know. This is the disappointment card. So let's acknowledge it. It's been disappointing and that's perhaps why I've been holding on to it too tight because I want to try and turn it around. I want to try and fix it. I want to try and change it or I just want to give up. None of those are the solutions. The solution is to let go, forgive and move on. And as you do, you create this abundance. The Ten of Pentacles wants to come in and the Page of Pentacles is opening those doors, opening the energy up for you to create that Ten. So forgiveness is the key this week, Sagittarius. Easier said than done, I know, but I promise you it is freeing. All right. Final message. Final message. Power. And look at that sword. That's the sword of truth. There is your sword to cut those cords. There is the sword to cut out unwillingness to move on, unwillingness to forgive. There's your sword, slash through those blocks, slash through that cord, slash through, get rid of it. Take your power, you take your power back as you free yourself from that which was holding you back. All right, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you for the week of the sevens. I hope that helps. If it did, give it a thumbs up, a like, a share, all that lovely good stuff. And if you haven't already, it'd be amazing if you subscribed. Thank you so much. Have an amazing week. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.